within social sciences, it's not just uh, a local community, it's a European community and, and an international community as well. And as part, not just of the FAIR agenda and the general interoperability initiatives that are happening at the moment, I think building a community of like-minded researchers and technical expertise is really important. I also work a lot with CESDA, particularly on the CESDA metadata model, ELST and DDI profiles as well. So there's a fair bit of technical work involved in there, seeing different approaches to the way that people manage data and also, you know, hearing about new technologies, different approaches. So as, as a network and a, and a, a mesh of social scientists and, and developers, it's, it's been incredibly useful for me. So my particular interests are around linked data and making sure that in the future, as we go forward, we can transition from what has been a traditional file-based approach to repositories and something that's more truly integrated and interoperable around the semantic web. So there's a lot of work involved, as you might imagine, with that, not just around the adoption of new and sometimes intimidating standards, but also metadata uplift. The CESDA data catalog is really important because rather than just searching and having access to your own local repository in your own country, you can actually access data sets from around Europe, uh, that might be from Norway or Germany or Slovenia. So the CESDA data catalogue does a really good job of pulling in all the metadata from 22 or more service providers and bringing that into a much larger catalogue. So while it might not always be quite straightforward to, as an English person to get access to German data or as a Slovenian person to get access to Norwegian data, it does at least start you on that journey to being able to see what's available in other European countries and, and getting you on that journey to accessing that data.